Right, so episode two of Chicago Bears Hard Knocks, my initial thoughts. Um, I really liked the episode, and I actually liked it a lot more than episode one. I thought it was a good episode. But um, also, before I get into the details of the episode, uh, spoiler alert, and also uh, HBO, yeah, do, do better. Like, what the, what the fuck? Because like, the premiere of this episode got delayed on HBO Max because... Um, because for whatever reason, uh, HBO was having problems, so, um, we didn't get it until around 9.30, when it should have came out at 8, so, uh, HBO, uh, this probably not happen next week, because, uh, I do not want to wait a little bit longer, and I'm recording this video a little later than I would like, so, uh, do, do better. So, episode 2 definitely had more training camp stuff than, uh, the last episode, and we saw... Less Matt Eberflus, we saw less Ryan Poles, I think I saw like Ryan Poles like once in the entire episode, and we saw less of Caleb Williams, which I'm fine with, because it gave the spotlight to some other players, one player that we saw a lot more of in the last episode was Rome Udunze, it showed him and his connection with Caleb Williams, Williams was giving him um, advice on some of the routes he should run and stuff like that, uh, which was cool. We also saw him uh, do, like, the rookie show thing. And he was... I don't know what he was saying, but, like... Uh, he definitely did better than Caleb. Um, Caleb did not do good last episode. Rome did a lot better. But it wasn't as good as Theo Benedict, let me just say that. Um, Rome's performance was nowhere near that. But Rome still did a pretty decent job with the rookie showcase thing. And we also saw uh, more of Jalen Johnson... And uh, Keaton Allen, they went at each other in training camp. And I think that's just going to make those two better because you got a Pro Bowl level corner and a Pro Bowl level wide receiver going at it. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing more of that in the next episodes if we do see that. And uh, I didn't realize this at first. Jalen uh, Johnson didn't make the top 100 NFL players list, which really surprised me because he was the... He was one of the best corners last year. He definitely should have cracked that list. And we also saw DJ Moore and his family. They went to the Museum of Ice Cream, which looked pretty good, except for the hot dog ice cream thing they had that looked atrocious. And you could tell DJ Moore did not like that when he took a bite of it. Um, we also saw Austin Reed, uh, the uh, four-string quarterback as of now. He, uh, we really didn't see him much in last episode because of the Hall of Fame. He was supposed to play, but it got rained out in the Hall of Fame game, and we saw a little bit more of him, which was cool. And also, we got training camp uh, storylines, uh, such as Valus Jones Jr., because he's working with the running backs now. Not sure if he will make the roster as a running back. If he does make the roster, I think it will probably be as a kick returner we saw some highs and lows of uh Valus Jones Jr. I'll get into the game in just a little bit and we saw Ian Wheeler who uh is I didn't know this he is gonna go to medical school but he's gonna try this NFL thing out first and he definitely had some lows in training camp especially with like catching stuff his hands were not that good but uh his speed is undeniable he is a really really fast player. The uh, second half of the episode mainly focused on the preseason game against the Buffalo Bills. Uh, I did a video on that, so if you want to go watch that, go check it out. I'll put the link in the description or something. But um, yeah, um, I'm going to talk about it more on an episode aspect, more than like how the game actually played out. But uh, it showed off Caleb Williams' impressive plays for sure. But um, it focused on DJ Moore, in Roma Dunze during the game, during the first part. And, um, yeah, it showed DJ Moore's catch, a couple of his catches. Uh, the first one for the first down, uh, Caleb threw it in a tight window, and uh, the second one was uh, Caleb dumped it off to him, and he got, I, I believe it was the first down in the play, but it was like a six, seven-yard gain for the first down, I believe. And uh, DJ Moore got extra yards on that. And uh, it showed Roma Dunze, I wouldn't say really struggling during the game, uh, but like not really getting much opportunities. Um, on one of the plays, he was being held, and uh, Caleb forced the ball to him. It probably should have been picked. And then another one, it was a mis uh, miscommunication between Caleb and Rome. 
and just ended up going out in the back of the end zone. Uh, Caleb and Rome ended up talking about it on the sideline, so I think that's a good sign because if they're talking about the miscommunication and trying to get on the same page, that's just going to make them a better quarterback wide receiver duo. It also showed Valus Jones Jr. Uh, during the game. It showed him getting some reps at running back. There were some highs, but there were some uh, lows definitely as well with um, him muffing the kickoff. That doesn't really have anything to do with the running back, but it uh, definitely should be mentioned. There were some plays where uh, he fell down when he was getting the carry or he just ran into a wall of defenders. But he did have some highs, of course, with the touchdown and uh, him bouncing off the defensive player and getting like a 19-yard gain on the ground. So if Valus, Jun- uh, Valus Jones Jr. could keep improving on that, I think he could be valuable for us. And hopefully he can be, or else he's a fucking waste of a third-round pick by Ryan Poles. And we also saw Ian Wheeler. Uh, he had some carries in the game, and he had a couple of touchdowns in the game as well. And I'm really happy for him. Hopefully he can make the roster, but it's gonna be, it's definitely gonna be really tough because of um, we already have a pretty stacked running back room. So maybe he can make it on as a practice squad guy at, uh, at the worst. But uh, we'll see uh, if he can make the roster. I'm not sure if he'll make it over Valus. I mean, he could, I guess. Um, I don't think he's gonna make it over like a Roshan or Cleo Herbert or DeAndre Swift for sure. But uh, Ian Wheeler, nonetheless, still had a really good game. It also showed Jonathan Owens on defense. He made some really good plays. Showed Jalen Johnson as well. He had a dropped interception. You need to catch that, Jalen. But he was still in the right place at the right time. So that's just what Jalen Johnson is going to do. He is a shutdown corner. And I'm glad he's on my football team. That's for sure. Showed the Micah uh, Baskerville pick six. Looking forward to seeing more plays like that next year. It better fucking happen, Eberflus. You better force more turnovers or I'm going to get fucking pissed. Almost forgot to mention Austin Booker as well. He was a monster in that game with two and a half sacks. Hopefully he can get some playing time next year because uh, if he plays like he did in the game against the Bills, um, our, our pass rush will have no problems, that's for sure. Uh, we also saw Austin Reed finally get his reps at quarterback that were uh, robbed of him from the Hall of Fame game. And he did pretty well. He had a nice throw to Dante Pettis and another throw to Dante Pettis that got overturned. And uh, Austin Reed even said himself that Sean McDermott shouldn't have overturned it and that he should have just let him have one, which uh, was kind of funny. I mean, challenging in a preseason game is kind of stupid, but uh, wh- whatever. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed the episode. I had a good time watching it, and, uh, I'm looking forward to episode three, and it better come out on time, HBO. The third episode better come out on time, or I'm gonna get really fucking upset, because a bunch of Bears fans on Twitter were, were ready to cancel their HBO subscriptions. A lot of Bears fans were up in the air on that one, so, uh, HBO better get it right. They, they, they better fucking get it right, but, yeah, uh, Thank you guys for watching the video, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.